Okay, so, okay, so down, down the domination is Resident Evil 11 Pro and uh, Note 11. When the let's interesting begin with the settings by Note 11 Pro. Video. Note 11 uh, let's go right now side. Here. By so the way, I'm saying exactly, exactly the same settings. Assalamu alaikum ninjas and welcome back, welcome back, your ninja Muhammad with another Eater SX2 gameplays comparisons. We have Redmi Note 11 Pro on the left side versus Redmi Note 11 on the right side. Dimensity 920 versus Dimensity uh, 810. Uh, we'll be doing a comparison in this video, so please make sure to watch it till the end. Uh, we'll be showing you uh, also the best settings by this uh, by the end of this video. So very important that you follow everything. Uh, so please make sure to stick around. Uh, remember, this is the 8 GB RAM variant of the Note 11 Pro and 6 GB RAM variant of the Note 11. Both of them are updated to the latest version, latest version, and uh, of course uh, I'll be using exactly the same settings which I'm going to show by the end of this video. Now uh, regarding the gamepads, products, uh, all the buying links in the description. Of course you can support me. How to support my channel? Just simply shop online with my links guys. Shop online with my links. Anyway, uh, you can, you're going to have five, many different uh, gameplays exclusive on my YouTube channel with these two phones. Let's begin. Remember, gameplay, then the settings. Can just salam alaikum and welcome back. So we're gonna test right now Tekken 5. Let's do it immediately right now. Uh, Redmi Note 11 Pro on the left, Redmi Note 11 on the right, Dimensity 920, Dimensity 810. Uh, having exactly the same settings, guys. Exactly the same settings. Frame skipping is uh, enabled, and that's why I can see myself the FPS is showing supposedly uh, 60 FPS. But obviously, this is not 60 FPS, bro. This is uh, frames are skipping. So far we're seeing that Redmi Note 11 with the Dimensity 810 is dropping the frames, uh, basically it's laggy. So the best way to see the difference is just uh, basically bring down here the EE cycle skip to normal. We, use, we could use underclocking here at 50%. Now what I'm seeing here, 30 FPS on the left. 20 also I have 30 FPS on the right side which is very interesting now we're gonna go bring it back here graphics uh, yes guys very interesting but uh, let me just see here 100% okay replay let's go with a different stage Okay. Oh, the same, the same move he done, bro. We have here around the 60%, 55-60% CPU real-time speed. We have here 55% CPU real-time speed. Now I'm gonna bring it in closer for you. Ready Note 11 Pro. See what's happening on the top right corner. 60% CPU real-time speed. Let's go with the Ready Note 11. 53, 54% uh, CPU real-time speed. So it is laggier, guys. But not a big difference, to be honest, not a big difference here with the Tekken 5. Of course, we're going to move to the next games and everything. Tekken 5 here with the Redmi Note 11. Another stage, let's go to another stage here quickly. Uh, one, two, three, boom. Let's see here. Guys, if you want to check uh, special gameplays of each games here on this emulator, check it out on my YouTube channel. For now, we are just testing here comparison between Dimensity 8 uh, 10 and Dimensity 920 for you. So here with the Tekken 5, this stage, we still have around 60% uh, CPU real-time speed. It drops sometimes at 58, 57. Not 11, uh, running at 50%, 30, 50%, 50%, guys. So around 10% uh, slower the Redmi Note 11. Same settings, guys. Same graphics, the details, the same resolution. Everything is exactly the same on these two phones. There's just a different uh, processors on them. Go round two. So remember, we can simply right now go here. If you want to enable the frame skipping option, just do use an EE cycle skip. Go to maximum. Maybe you can play around here, put at 60. See what's up here. Showing us CPU real time speed as it 100%. But the frames are skipping, guys. The frames are skipping. Okay, note 11, let's go with note 11 now. Load stage again. Okay, 
same thing. Happy for things to hold on. Yeah, you can see yourself on both of them is showing 100% CPU real time speed. You don't see any difference if, ex, except if you can see it visually, but on the numbers on the sheet is just uh, uh, showing us 100% CPU real time speed, uh, obviously with the frame skipping. So that's why uh, you, I use the normal mode uh, to see the differences in the performance. Uh, anyway, uh, let's go now and show you the settings. Okay, let's go now and show you the settings uh, regarding, I used exactly the same settings with both phones. Uh, just pause this video if I'm too quick guys, pause the video. System, remember, sometimes use 100%, sometimes go up to 50%, just play around some games, you can just use melt underclocking. Remember that these options are very important for non-Snapdragon processors. Okay, sometimes you can also enable, disable the multi-threaded VU1. Graphics, 1x as, don't go, you can't go above, man, it just, it's going to be very, very laggy at 2x at 3x. There you go. I repeat again, pause this video if I'm too quick. GPU palette conversion, sometimes you can enable and disable these options down there. But right now I enabled and also skip presenting duplicate frames, you can also enable this. And we can go to advance to fix the linear bug with this uh, emulator when you uh, basically uh, put the higher resolution. So align sprite, enable this, enable this guys. Vulkan doesn't work with the Meta Tech processors, with the Mali GPUs. It doesn't work. That is it. Thank you for watching this video. Of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel and shop online with my links. Let's go.